Let's take a closer look on how the IP Rally Graph Editor works. First of all, it's a very much like a notepad editor with keyboard commands that are used in many other applications too. Behind this blue helper icon here, you can see all the available commands that I'm going to show you now. Let's say that I'm interested in vehicle seats. Then the root feature is naturally a vehicle seat. I want the seat to have some properties. First, there is a seat portion. I just pressed enter after vehicle seat and got a daughter item or child item. If I want the seat portion to have a sibling item, then I press shift and enter, and then I get to type backrest. If you make any mistakes, you can move these items back and forth using tab and shift tab. But the logical position for this backrest is under the vehicle seat. Now if I want to add a property for this backrest, I just press enter and type, for example, cushion. With just arrow keys, I can easily move up and down in the uh, in the graph, and I can also click with mouse on any of the items to move my cursor there. Now if I want to add a feature for this seat portion, I just press enter and type, for example, ventilation system. Okay, all the features that I have typed this far are like uh, known form basic features of the uh, technology. And they are completely right. But in IP Rally I can also define more complex relationship between the features. Let's say that I want to uh, define the purpose of the ventilation system. What I do, I again press just enter. And as you can see, the helper says that I can define now a sub feature, like a controller, or a relation. And now I'm doing a relation. And that happens just by writing my thoughts down. The purpose of the ventilation system is for providing... Now you can see that the machine uh, understood that I'm writing a more complex definition. It added the ventilation system in, in front of what I'm writing to get the sentence complete for providing air vertically through seat portion. Now I start to write seat portion. It knows that I also already have it defined. It suggests me that you mean this seat portion. Yes, I do. I confirm it by enter. If I want to continue adding features, I just again press enter and I can say that the ventilation system comprises a fan having an electric motor, for example. Okay, now we have covered the basic command enter, which creates a sub-item, shift enter, which, which creates a sibling item, tab, which indents an item, and shift tab, which outdents an item. We still need to cover the shift up and down keys. Let's say that I want to, I have defined here a feature that is, uh, let's say, a housing. And I want the ventilation system to be in some kind of housing. Then how I could do that, I can tab this housing under the vehicle seat. And then with shift and up arrow key, I can move the feature here. Then when I press tab, it's moved under the seat portion. Then I can move the housing again one step up here above ventilation system. And now, it, now it's easy to just press tab to get the ventilation system inside the housing. And this is how you can do pretty much everything uh, in, the, in the graph. 
what is notable is that these relations, they cannot be moved up and down. Uh, or they can be moved vertically up and down, but they cannot be moved uh, to left and right. Because each relation is always bound to its parent feature. For example, in this case, the ventilation system. When I'm happy with the graph, then of course I want to do the search.